Hello there, it's Aussie Star Wars Nerd, and today we're going to take a look at what happened to Commander Fox after the Clone Wars ended. The last time that we saw Fox on screen was in Season 6, Episode 7, titled Orders, when this happened. And as you might expect, he took part in Order 66 on Coruscant, so it would be safe to assume that Fox was at the Jedi Temple at some stage. And because of his loyalty to the new Empire, he kept his rank as Commander. A while after Order 66, during a normal patrol in the lower levels of Coruscant, Fox came across the Jedi Librarian Jocasta Nu, and upon questioning her, she mind-tricked him and the other Coruscant Guard clones with him, allowing her to escape towards the Jedi Temple. Once Vader found out that Jocasta Nu was in the temple, he ordered Commander Fox and his elite group of shock troopers to surround the Jedi Temple, not letting anyone in or out unless ordered by either him or the Emperor himself. Once Vader entered the Jedi Temple to kill Jocasta, their fight headed outside the building, and some of the Coruscant Guard, seeing a lightsaber, started to shoot at it, only for them to realise too late that they were shooting at Vader. This happened because Fox had failed to provide all the clones with a description of what Darth Vader looked like. So as soon as Vader boarded the Imperial LAAT slash LE patrol gunship that Fox was on, he snapped his neck on the spot as punishment for his failure. And that was the end of Commander Fox. Thank you for watching and may the Force be with you.